The B-70 development program's purpose was to design an aircraft that not only could deliver a nuclear bomb, but also one that could run off of a nuclear reactor similar to modern submarines. The XB-70 Valkyrie was meant to be a replacement for the B-52 Stratofortress. The experimental plane featured enormous winglets at the tips of each wing to increase performance at high Mach. These winglets would be flat on takeoff and rotate downward 90 degrees afterwards. The aircraft was powered by six jet engines on its underside, achieving a maximum speed of 2,000 miles per hour, or Mach 3.1. This massive plane weighed half a million pounds when fully loaded, stood 30 feet tall, and had a wingspan of 105 feet. The XB-70 program was plagued by technical malfunctions. On the 7th of May 1965, the divider between the engine intakes broke apart and fell into the compressors, forcing them to be scrapped entirely and completely replaced. Later that same year, Ship 1 broke Mach 3, which in turn sheared two feet of the wing's leading edge off of the plane. The plane would be limited to Mach 2.5 after this incident. On the 8th of June, 1966, one of the only two XB-70s ever produced would be destroyed. Ship 2, the supersonic jet flown by pilot Al White and co-pilot Carl Cross, was in formation with four other planes for a photo shoot, among them an F-104. This NASA aircraft, flown by Chief Test Pilot Joe Walker, was just off to the right of the XB-70, but started to roll to the left. Walker fought back as his plane was uncontrollably pulled to the left by the giant vortex formed by the XB-70's winglet. The NASA jet quickly contacted the upper surface of the Valkyrie and burst it into a fireball tearing through the stabilizers. The F-104 pilot, Joe Walker, was killed on contact. As the F-104 fell away consumed by fire, the Valkyrie was left without any rudders or vertical stabilizers. The already weakened left wing lost a large section after the plane began tumbling out of control. The large, unwieldy craft settled into a flat spin that neither pilot could pull out of. As pilot Al White followed the board procedure, pushing his seat back to encapsulate it and eject, he noticed co-pilot Cross struggling. White later noted in his report that it appeared his co-pilot was attempting to abort as if the plane was a B-28. He tried to help, but time was running out as the plane continued to plummet. Al White survived after rejecting, but unfortunately, Carl Cross was not able to escape the Valkyrie. During the official investigation, workers who had been in proximity to the simulator the pilots used were questioned. It was discovered that even though co-pilot Cross signed off as having done his required hours of abort procedure practice, none of the workers ever saw him enter the simulator. It was concluded that what had caused the mid-air collision was the tremendous vortices created by the size of the downward-facing winglet on the Valkyrie. Once the F-104 was caught in the vortex, there was no way to regain control. Due to the lack of safety and reliability at high velocities and increasing technologies in the field of long-range and intercontinental missiles, President John F. Kennedy would cancel the B-70 development program because he believed that it was unnecessary and economically unjustifiable.